Hi, welcome to Antique Quest. Um, first of all, sorry, once again, we haven't got a video out in quite a while. We have been working on two online auctions coming up, uh, getting the house up for sale and all sorts of other things. Nonetheless, here we are again. And what we're gonna do today, because it went over so well the last time, we had a lot of people really enjoy the fact that we did a little video on the auction that we had coming up. It helped a lot of people to understand sizes of things and that sort of stuff. So. What I'm going to do is we have two auctions online, both coming off in June. One is the collectibles auction, which is on now and open for bidding. And you can find that at www.harrisandsonsauctions.com. Follow the link to high bid and you can bid on anything on there. Uh, most of the items are starting off at $5. It's, it's just all sorts of stuff from old antique hardware lots to old skeleton keys. Uh, some advertising, some toys, that sort of thing. But right after that, which is not on yet, but will be on shortly, is another fine art antiques and oriental antiques auction. So we're going to show you some of those things today. Starting with this set right here, which is a fabulous 1822 printing of Hogarth etchings. And this is the entire set of 12. I hope you can see that. Um, it's got the full complete set of Hogarth. They're beautifully matted. All they would need would be frames and glass. And they're in three, three big lots there. So um, just some great images. Uh, originally done in the 1700s, but this is the printing from 1822, which is a good early printing. And uh, that was to give you an idea of size as well, because there's three of those all together, but they would look fabulous in an office or house, anything like that, once they're all framed up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you around, show you a few of the things, uh, just so again, so you can get an idea of size, and hopefully that'll help you out, and you can uh, go to the online auction and do some bidding. So let's go see what we got. So here we have an old Waterman's fountain pen antique showcase and it has the wooden back uh, quite a few drawers on it glass top and sides a little crack in the glass there but a neat size showcase um, it's got the old brass hardware I don't really want to pull it out right now to show you but great old thing especially if you're a waterman collector this is just a fantastic folky watercolor painting by Reginald Marsh um, this one actually was done in New Brunswick and it's redheads and most of his work is not available to the public anymore he's uh, this one was done in 1911 um, you can check more of the story as we go on as you go online we've got it all written down there uh, most of its owned by the museum in Nova Scotia a nice little oriental um, oil actually on material painting there and your typical blanket boxes and a great old scale and this is actually solid brass this entire pan so if you really wanted to polish this one up you've got the double brass arms on there lots of the original paint left on it a really fabulous either an etching or a serigraph we're we're having a little trouble figuring this one out and it's a quebec artist we believe and noted here after Modigliani. So very interesting work there. A nice serigraph here. And a work by Christine Erglis here in Nova Scotia. Nice modern art piece. And here we have some more Good primitives, nice early tall painted water dipper there. And your candle molds and whatnot. We have some neat old canisters, great color, nice orangey color. An early Nova Scotia decoy. Uh, some great woodenware. Interesting little harvest ring. It is marked. Uh, Pinehurst 
New Jersey, New York, or North Carolina. We can't quite make that out, but it has looked like it's lost its top and it's been reattached at one point. Nice old pie plate. Good possibility that's Dion in Quebec. Great cutlery tray and some cutting boards and a lot of different things. Wooden wear, tall wear, old ox shoe and bell. Again, sorry for the glare. It's tough to photograph some of these with glass. Nice serigraph here and a silk screen by Pamela Wright, who is actually an Ontario artist. Again, I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see there. Very colorful, multi-color. I have these two early oriental scepters on brass. There's a pair of them. Uh, the smaller one looks as if it was silver plated at one time, but they are sold in a pair. Uh, this I'm actually going to come back to, this 3D viewer, because it needs more attention. Uh, beautiful Regency period sarcophagus. I just want to move that for a minute. Tea caddy on bun feet. I'm actually going to have to move him further. Hold on a second here. Move him along there. Okay, because I want to get you in there and look at that. I'd say those are rosewood, but look at that beautiful lift up lids and sorry folks, I can't watch what I'm doing and the camera. So there you have your beautiful inserts, but uh, wonderful to see it with its original glass. And that is original period to the tea caddy there. Nice little escutcheon and the bun feet. A marvelous fire ladder toy here. A great tin litho. Now, unfortunately, there is no name on here anywhere that we can find. So hopefully some of you at home might know what this is, some of you collectors. So it's got the uh, ladder that you can take off there and slide down and whatnot. A wonderful Majolica monkey playing the piano. Um, it has had a little bit of that corner has come off at one point. Good early piece of Majolica though. Possibly a planter, maybe a spill vase if there was a pair of them, but um, looks like a planter to me. Great piece. Some very interesting oriental cups and saucers with the black and the gilt around the outside. And some fabulous detail in some of these, uh, which I'm sure you're not gonna really be able to see. I'm going to try and hold it up there. Hopefully the camera will focus on it because the painting on this particular one is exceptional. Really fine work on there. And we have a nice, early Famille Verte in the green with an ormolu mount or bronze, like gilt bronze basically. Um, again, a nice early piece. It does have a slight little chip somewhere here right next to the um, mount, but it's, uh, it's fairly hidden. Still a great early piece. Fabulous little casket with a horn top, all silver, sterling on the sides, sterling work, and actually has a key, and the key actually works. It's got an old felt liner. A lot of the silver work has broken away because it is so thin, it's just used as decoration, but still just a, a wonderful little casket there. A nice early piece of Dalton Lambeth. Little tiny spout on that one. So it is a jug rather than a cup. Um, put some beautiful applied work on there. Another tea caddy for those of you that want to do a little work yourself. It is missing one of its bun feet and it's a scutcheon. Um, 
Its interior is a little rougher, but it's still a nice Regency period sarcophagus form. Great tea caddy there. And another bun foot disaster was these fabulous flow blue basically vases with a heavy gilt overlay so the blue is underglaze the gold is overglaze um, just the smallest little underglaze five mark on them but the there's a pair of them spill vases i would call them but this one you can see where it just warped in the kiln which i think is fabulous and it is missing one of its bun feet so anybody that's uh, handy they're still beautifully decorated decorative um, vases and a gorgeous little document box here I'm gonna start again here because I'm not sure if the battery just died on me I'm not sure if it picked it up or not but I'd like you to see the just the fabulous marquetry work on the top of this box nice little document box great piece there beautifully made nice interior clean uh, missing its original tray it might have had at one point but still just a fantastic box now for those that love original paint you've got to see this box this is fantastic I hope you can see it's like a deep maroon it's got wonderful dovetails on it and a painted name right in the top I'm going to try and see if I can't get it in a light that you can see the some of the surface of this paint uh, notice there's a really fine gold line runs around all the sides just right there all in the back as well uh, bottom of the box and it's got a bit of a sarcophagus sort of a, a canted sides on the top here as well but it's got a beautiful old surface. Uh, I'm not sure if any of that's gonna show up on there. And there you are, the inside of the box. The lock mechanism is gone, and it may have had a, a tray as well. I mean, it certainly appears that it did. And one hinge is gone here. But it's retained, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Painted original surface, great piece there. Wonderful. Oriental Japanese I would say sword it's had a bit of a hard life uh, the, the handle here and the cap is missing but I hope you can see this it's a monkey holding an apple carved in there not sure if it's gonna focus on it or not doesn't look like it is but nice piece there that's gonna be in the sale Beautiful Eastern Woodlands mat. Look at the colors in that. The colors, the beadwork is perfect. Everything's exceptional, the entire thing. It's got a beautiful suede leather back. Just a great, great piece. Eastern Woodlands Indians. And for our American friends, you can't beat this. But look at this. Look at that beautiful embroidered work. And it's very thick. It's just wonderfully done. Great early piece. Um, it does come with its wooden backing that was originally, that it was wrapped around in the frame. Um, we never got the frame, but still just a fabulous piece. Fabulous piece, great piece of folk art there. Now, other oriental items. We have this wonderful official porcelain with a rather decent mark in the base. I don't know if you can make that out. It does appear that he was holding probably a scepter at one time, which is gone now, unfortunately, but everything else, his beard, there's a tiniest little piece missing from that one beard. But otherwise, just a great, great figurine. Beautiful colors, family rose. Another great piece. And we have uh, a lot with some Picasso books. 
All, uh, whoops, showing his works in there. Rather risque one, so we'll keep it moving quickly. And this is an interesting little Picasso book of his uh, photo gravures. Photo engravings has that little piece with it as well. But uh, every page is a full size image and some color ones as well. Interesting for our Canadian art collectors. Bibliography of the group was seven, put out by the National Gallery in Ottawa in 1971. Tells all of their goings, where they were and what they did. So great for the collector. Nice little William Kirillick calendar from 1977. Great images in there as well. And we're just gonna move the camera a little further down. All sorts of weird and wonderful things here. You have a lot with some silver plate pieces, some nice early Sunderland ware, cups and saucers. That's all a lot as well. A great cast iron good luck with the good old Canadian beaver on there. Great piece there in paint. Some early lighting, candlelight. These two hanging lamps with the milk glass shades pair of those in a lot. A shark vertebrae swagger stick. So we've had a lot of canes. We've never had a swagger stick before. Missing a few little pieces here, but still a great piece. Uh, nice little advertising, Old Virginia, 20 cent plug. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna show up. Hold it against this white, maybe it will. Just needs one of those wide mouth jars from a shop. And that'll fit right on. Little cupboard box with a wonderful little hockey scene, pond hockey. A little bone china box. And this little lot of treen here with a wonderful old basket. But some great paddles, some great work on there. And the butter press with the sheath of wheat. But a nice little basket too, a nice little cheese basket. Okay, a little advertising for Horns Trucking. Heavy paperweight there, cast steel. And we've got some corn flour glass. We've got, oh, that's a heavy one. Wonderful, great big art glass piece with an applied clear foot. No signature, unfortunately, nice swirl to it. Wonderful big bubble glass. Green vase with a big applied lip on it. Just a really neat unsigned piece again. Got some Crocs here, some more art glass, some old transferware plates, big etched vase. Now we have actually some of these are in our collectible sales. So all these early dinkies, Jaguars, and um, London Taxis and Austin Minis and um, D-Type Jags, Land Speed Record Holders, MGBs. Those are all in the collectible sale. And then we have a lot of smalls that are bagged right now. So rather than take them all out, I'm not going to go through all those. But the jewelry, you can see all these things online with some good close-up pictures. There's a fair bit of jewelry and interesting clutch bag. Um, Little porcelain whistle, finger a whistle, some apothecary items, old dolls, big old knife in there, uh, some watches and old photographs, and small dolls and whatnot. All sorts of neat little things will be in there. This particular showcase is actually in the collectible sale that's on right now, as was the first showcase I showed you. Some wonderful oriental easels metal easels here nice pair of them some early lighting again lanterns coach lanterns and this great iron pot tool hanger that's in the sale as well uh, let's see where do we want to go here now the 12 foot boat is in the collectible sale so that's on right now now all the wood in this boat is 
wonderful. It's all in excellent condition. See if I can get in here a little bit and show you the, the slats. All the seats are intact. We simply put the shelf across the braces for the seats so we haven't actually screwed them in or anything. And it's the same down there. So all the three wooden seats are still good. The only thing to do with this is put a new canvas on the outside because this canvas is, is torn here and there. But the wood underneath is good and solid. Uh, you know, even the ore locks, the side walls, everything. Everything's really good. That's in our collectible sale, which is on right now. These native baskets are coming up in the antique sale. Really neat ladle here. Got the faces carved in it. Good size. Neat piece. And photograph I'm not really sure where that is another lidded basket and some really different shaped snowshoes very short for how wide they are and over here we have first of all we have a tripod table there it's uh, had a bit of a hard life which you'll see in the detailed photos online a nice horse weather vane but these I must admit are a bit of a mystery. Now these are all hand carved, great piece of folk art, and you'll see there on the bottom is a museum number. So at one point these were in a museum collection and they've been moved on. And there's four of them and three of them painted blue bases and one is left untouched. But as to the origin of these, I'm told they were found in Picto, um, but you'll see by his outfit in this hat, I'm not really sure where to place these. Um, they do have somewhat of a look of an early Quebec sort of habitat, but, uh, <clears throat> and it's quite possible they were done in Quebec, quite possible, but, <laughs> I almost think they have a bit of a foreign look. I just can't quite decide where. So if anybody there knows, and they all have sort of a coppery paint with these little green decorative splashes. Look at the detail in the backpack. It's a really interesting set of folk art carvings there. Uh, another, this is a acrylic, I believe, by G. Ward. Beautifully done, New Brunswick artist and scene. Uh, the Funky Cats, for anybody that uh, is in the band, they're pretty cool. They're, uh, it's a serigraph. Now, I'm not going to unroll all these carpets and, and hooked rugs because they are going to be online in full detail. But, um, give me an idea. There's a fabulous penny rug here. And, uh, let me just... I'll unfurl him and see so you can see the size. Actually, the lighting's terrible here. Let me move him over here onto the floor. Just a wonderful penny rug there. It does have one disc missing at the end there. But all in all, just a really neat rug. Sorry, I am having trouble with my monitor and seeing what I'm doing here. And there's some coverlets, and there's going to be some more quilts, some really nice quilts. Again, please do look online when the, the auction comes up, because I think you'll be pretty pleased with um, what's available in this sale. Another great big coverlet, and a big quilt, and another quilt underneath there. Oh, uh, no, that's the last one. And all the sizes will be on the auctions catalog. And you don't have to register to view the auctions, so don't worry about that. You can just go right on and view, even when it's upcoming and it's not on yet, you can view the auction. Now this is a big horse folk art pictorial rug, so maybe I'll just unfurl that for you. Good large size too. Great condition. Just 
to give you an idea there. Okay. So we'll stand back from the wall and give you a bigger, slow view. You know, when you recognize any of these things, you can kind of compare them to size you saw here. So we'll walk in. You know, we have an original there, signed Stella Kinsell. We we'll have this uh, wonderful early sampler, and we did find it is signed and dated down here, and that will be in the listing. It's just that it's faded to the same color, so it was almost unnoticeable. A wonderful early Japanese print. You'll notice a little hole here, a corresponding hole there. But then you'll also notice a little slash here and a corresponding slash here. So we believe that right here where they've been put together, they were originally in a scroll or a book that had it held together on those certain points. Um, and we have another nice watercolor down here. And it really is a great watercolor. The What looks like a big foxing mark there in the middle appears to be in the glass, on the glass, but on the back side, but not on the actual print. Some fabulous canes here. Hopefully this will focus for us. Silver top on that one, ivory top on that, and of course the ivory ones only ship within Canada. This is a great carved folk art cane. I'm afraid this probably isn't going to focus right for us. Let me see if I can get it right here. And it has, running down it, all the way around is a snake. And we're going to try and follow him up. If I can, amongst these leaves. And show you that he eventually shows up right there with his two eyes just right behind my thumb there a nice folk art carved cane and we do have a shark vertebrae cane with what we believe is a carved whale's tooth for handle and this one's really unusual this one it's been crazy trying to focus. It has, it's been carved to look like there's thread going from one hole to another. I really don't know why they went to all that trouble because I don't really understand what they were going for. Um, probably a sailor's work for sure. And that might mean something to some of you seafaring guys. And you could let me know. And then this one, he didn't do it. So very unusual carving. Ivory again, so that stays within Canada. And some really scary looking natives here. Not winning any beauty contests, that's for sure. And some wonderful Stephen Graff's silkworks. I love that one with the sculling. And this one, the good old days with the coach scene in excellent condition, great colors. Now for these fabulous oriental things. Look at first, this box is incredible. The banding and the marquetry work through this entire thing is just phenomenal. Nice black lacquer inside. Little lidded sections. The drawers have been angled to fit the shape of the box. But look at all the, the marquetry in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's just a piece of art as far as all the woods that have been used here. It's got these little doors that open up. And again, see even on the back panels of these doors there are four different pieces put together and all through the drawer fronts. And of course these all open. That's a nice big size. All its original hardware. We'll slide there to lock that one. Great, great box there. Beautifully made. Um, 
And these are game score markers. So depending on how you flip these up, it registers certain scores. And all of these tabs, it's all lacquered and gilt painted, but these are all applied stones. That's a bird, but most of them are bugs. And I don't know that this is gonna pick it up, but like I say, you are gonna see them closer up on the website. A fabulous set of markers. And they were actually sold at the, um, the Oriental Bazaar Main Street Galt by FGA Brown and Son. Japanese cased mirrors. First set is smaller and it's a polished brass. So complete set with two in there. And the large set, which were, I'm told, typically given as wedding gifts, have both different patterns. And these are marked as well, but just fantastic early pieces and there's a pair and these are both a different image that one has the cranes you can see the turtles here um, let's see if i can get the other one out here for you yeah, and the fans again beautifully marked on the one side still in their original wooden uh, gilt cases but i was told yes that these were a popular wedding gift polished brass mirrors now this set you'll see better online with the photographs it took me about a half an hour to set up all these characters and it's like a japanese or a chinese new year rather and there's pagodas and there's bands and there's lantern holders and flag holders and most of these are all in pretty good shape and guys playing huge horns and um, they are a let me see if I can pull one out here because they are very fragile but they're a let me see here they're a pottery painted pottery and they have a wired frame so you bend this little back wire to make them stand on the three points um, and I imagine these were set up just like we would do for, you know, setting up a nativity scene for Christmas, but a very, very elaborate set. I've never seen anything like that in my life. So, uh, but do look online. They are fantastic. Uh, wonderful watercolor and gouache um, painting of Monte Monterey, California, and signed H. A stone 1926 I believe that's its original frame and all fabulous piece there um, and before I go to my left to the Canadian and Americana I'm gonna go over here now let me stand back again give you an idea of the artwork and the sizes when you get close all right and that bike frame up there is actually in the collectible sale right now. Oh, and a great early piece for a church with great crackle finish on it for handing down the, the rows of pews to take the offering. This is an absolutely stunning watercolor. Signed Bertuzzi. Down in red here, I don't know if we'll get that. There we go. But uh, just fabulous detail, especially in this Rialto Bridge there. I think that's Rialto, Bridge of Size. Been there once, fabulous place. And over here we have an original, one of two originals by Dennis Tekel, Nova Scotia artist. And uh, just does great, very unique work. Good sizes, both of these, framed and ready to go. Um, beautiful East Coast scenes, and another one here. Nice serene out on the water. And we have a couple Inuit 
clock prints down below here. And they are signed in syllabics down there. In case anybody can read that, I love this one. It's a good sized guy. Dwarf and that bear. And we've got some a pair of great folk art books that must have. Great one from Nova Scotia, Spirit of Nova Scotia. And from the heart, both fabulous books. A really great early push pull toy for children. Uh, late 1800s goes all the way up to there. And the idea is that when these wheels go around, they, they make the horses kind of pop, like so. Uh, nice last look mirror. Picked up in Quebec many years ago. Does have a piece reattached in a few places. Great old white painted surface on it. There you can see the base there. Wonderful. Chippendale mirror, rather. Not last look, sorry. Chippendale mirror. And this is an interesting, and I'm saying this is 18th century, and it's an artist's template. You see the numbers running up the top and the side of that picture. So this is like an artist's sketch where he's put numbers so he can transfer it to a much larger canvas in a great old frame. Uh, forgotten toy. This is an artist proof, beautifully framed, double matted, or actually it's not double matted, but it has an extra incised line, which is a little tricky to do. And I do not make out that signature, which is unfortunate because it's well signed. This piece is a hard stopper for people that love historical paintings. And it is the 32 days cruise of the Channel Squadron, the Helis Helicon meeting the Ironclad at the rendezvous. And it's got the name of all the ships down along the bottom that you see up above. Just a stunning piece. Okay, I think we've done this side. Now we'll get into our uh, primitives. A fabulous wall box here. Nice thin front on this one. And then old nails, good color. Good color underneath. Nice old wall box there. Fabulous. Pierce lantern. An absolutely monstrous thick heavy cast ladle. A great early game board with, again, just a fabulous right as rain surface on it. Um, I don't recall, but I don't think there's anything on the back. Let's have a look. Nope, just a good old board back there. So, great piece. Varnished. And a Pegano. Berlin, Ontario, Mission Oak Clock. Uh, it's much taller than it looks in the video. And here's for all you wall box lovers. Look at the size of that one. Uh, I can't turn this sideways, can I? I keep thinking I can, like I'm taking a photograph, but uh, oh, I'll just to give you an idea. It's pretty much as high as that table. Just a great, great old box. Some nice color. Again, all the details will be on the website. And a fabulous candle mold. 12 candle candle mold there. Leather fire bucket. Had a little bit of a hard life, but it's got some great color. Just a neat piece. Don't see a lot of these up here. A uh, nice tapered leg table, pinned, nice surface. Nice little side table. A fabulous early trencher bowl there. Very thin sides. Really nicely made, very deep, extra deep on that one. This Fabulous whirly kick. He needs his paddles. They're long gone. And he has had a little damage to one foot. But 
nice old paint still remaining and uh, just a great face and his arms will twirl in the right directions once you get a paddle on there okay great old mortar and pestle that's a big one and a nice big incised black painted base Let's have a few cracks which they almost always do this wonderful document box again and this is tight as tight gets to get that lid up fabulous top on it book on micmac quill work hey oh, let me see here newfoundland outport chair and we believe is seal skin has had its posts cut down at one time and its tops cut down at one time. It's got a great old paint finish on it. Well, you can see all this. It's, you never know when the camera is focusing on the item or the floor. But how's this for a underneath base? It's fantastic the way they've got that hide all pulled tight. It's a really neat chair. Um, and actually incredibly strong if you actually do want to sit in it. Um, but I think it's a piece of art just like it is. Okay. Big tilting tea kettle, some pewter pieces, some uh, snuff boxes, nice little uh, ship's barometer. Again, some more pewter tankards. Nice little heraldic shield there. And I think I showed you most of it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you more about that in a minute. So just another once through there. So some really great pieces we're excited about. Oh, and that uh, unit there as well. It's an old Deep Brook Pantry Shelves. And they have the braces in the back. You can see through there, a little cut out at the foot. Just a neat original piece. This nice early Nova Scotia tripod table. And it has inlaid diamonds, one missing, but you can see one there, one here, one there, and one there. The top has a bit of a curve to it, unfortunately, but all in all, a great table. There is also going to be a bunch of box lots, which are just chock full of glass china and other interesting items, but I'm trying to keep the list a little shorter. But now, I'm going to go around here and show you just how this works. Okay, now let's show you this one uh, really interesting piece. I have not seen one this fantastic in 30, 40 years of the business but it is your stereo viewer and it's all beautifully lacquered with your gilt oriental figures, but I'm gonna show you just how it goes here. Okay, so lift this up like so and you build your little light box here. This piece goes up there. This piece comes down here. Get that off to one side, and that snaps on there like so. Then this is where your card goes. You have a little light box in there. Uh, where's my other end? Here we go. Now you go up like so, and put that in there like this. So you can view through this window to set your card where you want. And like I say, this, this moves for focus. So it slides up and down for focus. You have a little knob here to control that. And then you have your focus knob here that brings these out. So that is one of the nicer 3D viewers I've ever seen. 
and the figurines painted on here are, are super quality. Um, just a fantastic thing. Almost like this would be a show in itself that they would charge people to come and see some 3D viewers through this. And you just put it all back together again like so. And you can carry it wherever you go now. it up but there you go what an amazing piece fantastic you're not going to see another one I can pretty much guarantee you so as a couple little splits in the wooden uh, rings around the eyepieces here but that's expected when you're carving wood like that and after age it dries up a little bit still very uh, very tight very functional so I hope you like that video it's not a riveting video um, but hopefully that allows you, any of our folks that are going to be bidding to get an idea of size because even with uh, sizes written down you don't really comprehend as well as you do when you see something so if you enjoyed that let us know and i'll keep doing this until we're allowed to open again and and you can come and view these things for yourself but as of right now with the restrictions we just hope that helps out a little bit and we're going to continue to do online auctions and if you have any items of these calibers that you'd like us to sell for you Please get in touch with us on our website, www.harrisandsonsauctions.com, or you can call us direct, or you can find us through the high bid platform, which we have our online auctions with. So thanks again for watching, folks. Um, I hope this helped you out, and we'll talk to you soon. And the Airstream videos are coming. It's finally warm enough I can get out there and work on them. So you guys that like the Airstream videos, we're going to be putting a toilet in next and a new floor. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.